So it's Thursday, which can only mean one thing, it is time for another video. Only this week I've got something a little bit different for you all. I'm going to tell you a quick story before I go into the purpose of this video to try and set the scene to why I decided to make this video. I remember about seven years ago now I started to take photography seriously as a hobby. I've been using the video editing software Lightroom all that time. I like Lightroom, it does what I need it to do and because I've used it for seven years it's obviously done its purpose for me, I've obviously enjoyed it. But I remember when I first started out in photography, Lightroom totally confused me. I remember starting it up and there was all these sliders and everything else going on and even today there are some things Lightroom can do which I've never tried to do. And a lot of you might be quite surprised to learn that I have never ever tried Photoshop. And there is a couple of features in Photoshop that I've always wanted to try but I've never had the confidence or the time to sit down and learn it because to me it looks very complicated. There's a lot of people who watch my channel who are starting up in photography, who are getting inspired to go out and enjoy the natural world and because I remember feeling so anxious and so frustrated about photo editing when I first started this hobby, I was really happy when a company called Skylum contacted me a few weeks ago telling me of this photo editing software that they would like me to try out. Quite understandably, I was quite sceptical about this. I'd only ever used Lightroom, I'd only ever heard of Lightroom, and you know, like I said, I was quite sceptical about trying it out. But I got a free trial, and the moment I opened up this app, I absolutely loved it. And I'm not just saying that, it edits photos very quickly. I feel like it's much more simple and straightforward than I ever found Lightroom, and I'm able to enhance some images which I didn't feel I was able to enhance completely in Lightroom in this app to a much better standard. And that is my honest opinion of this app. This app is called Luminar. Like I say, it's made by a company called Skylum. And I'm gonna show you quickly what it does and why I like it so much. And if you watch till the end of this video, you will find out how you yourself can download your own free trial of this app to give it a go. And if you really like your free trial, which I hope you will because I think it's amazing, you'll be giving a unique code so that you can get $10 off of your purchase of this software. So without further ado, I'm gonna go onto my laptop and I'm gonna show you what this app does, edit a couple of photos that I've never shown on my channel before and enhance them to the, the point which I really like and which I hope you will enjoy as well. So I've just opened up Luminar just now and I'm just going to open up these two images that I was on about. One of them is a sunset from my bedroom window and the other one is a photograph of Loch Tay, which I took the other week when I was there photographing the post sunrise light. The Loch Tay image was never used in my video because I never felt like I was able to enhance it properly in Lightroom, but in this app I can enhance it to a much better standard, which I personally like a lot better and hopefully you guys will like this image a lot better too. I'm going to show you the comparison at the end of this video of how I edited it in Lightroom and how I edited it in this Luminar software to show you the difference and why I like it so much. So we're going to start with this sunset image. Now what I like so much about this software is that at the bottom you've got this bar where you've got all these presets which are already there for you to use which makes photo editing so much quicker and so much easier for you. So there's 67 presets that come with this app all ready for you to use. You can increase and decrease the vibrancy, enhance the image, basically bring it out to a much better standard than what you normally can. Oh, this app also comes with all the things you would expect in a photo editing software app. You can do all the usual things from converting it to black and white, increasing the vibrance and saturation, you've got contrast and shadow controls, clarity and dehaze, all the good stuff that you would get in Lightroom are already on this app. However, there's a couple of extra features which I think enhance photographs to a different level. And if you don't quite get the photograph right in the field, which sometimes happens, there are things here which can help enhance a boring, dull image into something more exciting. I don't normally do much creative stuff with my photo editing, but it's something I'd like to look further into. I personally like my images to be quite natural. I like them to show what I photographed on the day. 
But if I forgot my polarising filter for instance, there's a polarising filter section on here where I can add that polarising effect to my photograph in the editing software. You can also remove colour cast, you can add fog to your image. There's also a cinematic feature where you can make your images look really cinematic. And you can also add a soft glow to your images as well. This app also claims to be much faster at photo editing and I would agree with this because although it's got all the sliders and all the kind of complicated things which I found in Lightroom, they are made so much more simple in this app because I feel like everything pinpoints you and directs you to where you want to go and I just find it so much easier to use. There's so much there already built in waiting for you to use. And if you're somebody who's into your Instagramming and you want to create your own preset, you can download that and create it into this app to make all your photographs look very similar for that unique Instagram look. For me, I feel this app offers so much. and. The thing I like the most about it is that it doesn't come with a monthly subscription. So right now I pay £50 a month for my photo editing software and video editing software, which is quite a lot of money in my eyes, but obviously I need it because otherwise I couldn't make these YouTube videos and I couldn't edit my my photos. But if you're somebody who just likes photo editing and you don't want to be tied down to that monthly subscription of Lightroom, the great thing about Luminar is that it's a one-off payment of £64. And that's it. Once you've paid that, the software is yours to keep, yours to use as much as you want and you don't have to pay anything else. Now the great thing is, because I love this software so much, I've been invited to become a partner for Skylum and for this Luminar photo editing software. And as a partner, I can offer you $10 off of your purchase. So what would have been £64, you're going to get $10 taken off of that and you're going to get it for even cheaper. The thing is, I it's great me sitting here talking about this editing software, but until you try it yourself, you're never going to know what it's like. So if you would like to try your own free trial of this software, go down to the description and you will find a link. Click on that link and download your software, whether you've got Windows computer or a Mac, there is going to be a link down there for you to download your software. And if you really enjoy the software and you would like to purchase it, then use the unique code KGYouTube to get your $10 off of your Luminar purchase. I really hope that a lot of you try out this software because like I say, I feel especially for those starting out in photography or even people who have done it for years and want to edit photographs quicker, this is the software for you. And I am not just saying that, I would never make a video about something that I didn't believe in and something that I didn't feel passionate about and I just wish that I discovered this photo editing software sooner. So get down below, test out your free trial and let me know in the comments below what you think of this software, if you like it and how it's enhanced your photography. I'd like to say thank you all again for watching. I will be back to my usual self on Sunday with another Explore Scotland video. This time I will be in Glencoe and Glenfinnan exploring some unique photographic locations. I won't be taking any images because the weather was too sunny and beautiful when I was there and I was very tired, but you will be seeing the famous Glenfinnan Viaduct where one of the Harry Potter films was filmed and you will also be seeing Glencoe where James Bond's Skyfall was filmed. So stay tuned for that on Sunday and very soon I will be back with some more photography videos. Thank you all again for watching, get down there and try out this software for yourself and I will see you all again next time.